Hi, I'm Ron of Ron's Trains and Things, and if you'd like to see more Model Railroad tips, tools, and techniques, then be sure and subscribe down below and click that little bell icon so you can catch future videos. Many of you, I know, enjoy uploading videos to YouTube of progress on your layout, of operating sessions on your layout, or of modeling projects that you're doing. For some people, it can be a pretty big leap to go from their modeling projects to getting them on video and getting them uploaded on YouTube. One thing that can be a challenge is making sure that you get everything on the YouTube end set up the way you wanted to, especially things like links in end screens and cards in your video. You want to have those links within your video set up before people start viewing the video. Well, I want to briefly show you a tip about how you can make sure you get those cards and those end screens in your video before it begins to be viewed by your viewers. So let's go over to the computer for just a moment and I'll show you how to do that. To upload your videos and allow yourself to optimize them completely before they go live, what I do is, starting in my regular YouTube upload screen, I go to this box here before I do anything else. And this box that now says Public, I want to click this little down arrow and I want to go to Scheduled. And what that's going to do is that's going to make any video that I upload scheduled to actually go live 24 hours after it's uploaded. Now, you may be thinking, I don't want to wait 24 hours for my video to go live, and that's okay. We can change that, but we're going to schedule it uh, just to allow it to delay long enough for us to get it optimized. Now, I drag my video in here. It uploads. It processes. While it's uploading, I can add my description, my tags, my custom thumbnail, all of those things that I want as part of the video. And then when it has completely uploaded and processed, I'm going to go into Creator Studio, under my video manager and here I'll see a list of all of my recently uploaded videos and that newest video will be at the top of the list and it will show that it is scheduled. What I'll do at this point is I'll go into edit and I want to add all of those elements that I want to make part of this video. So if I want to add card links, I go to cards and add those links. I can go to end screen and add those end screen links to the end of the video add all of those changes, save them as I go, and then when I'm finished, I'm going to go back to Info and Settings. Now I'm ready for my video to go live. And so on this page, right down in the middle, kind of towards the bottom, you'll see this box that says Public. But for our newly uploaded video, at this point it's going to say Scheduled because we have scheduled the video. But we're ready for it to go live, so I'll click this arrow, and I'm going to choose Public out of the drop-down menu. So that will replace the scheduled line. And then I'll go up here and click Save Changes, and my video that is now optimized exactly how I want it will immediately go live. And that allows every viewer that looks at my video to see all of those card links, those end screens, to, to follow links from this new video to other videos in my playlists and videos that I have uploaded. And that is really, really good for your channel. By using this process, you can make sure that you get all of those links in your video before people start viewing it, and that can help them transition from watching the video that you've uploaded to other videos on your channel, which can be a big help to your channel. This micro tip has been brought to you by the Down and Dirty Weathering Contest. <laughs>The Down and Dirty Weathering Contest runs through March 10th. I hope you'll take some time to watch all the videos that have been uploaded by the contestants in the contest. I'm going to post a link to the playlist with all of those videos in an end screen at the end of this video, so be sure and check that out. Well, if you enjoyed this micro tip, here's a link to some more tips that I know you'll enjoy as well. Also, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up down below, and be sure and share it online wherever model railroaders hang out. Also, please check out the description down below this video. There you'll find links to my Amazon page, my Amazon pick of the week, my Patreon page, as well as ways that you can connect with me on various social media. Join me again next Tuesday as I'll be bringing you another great Model Railroad segment, and I look forward to seeing you then. Ten, Lizzie?